This tournament is approaching its end at last. My final opponent has yet to show themselves, though. Hmm? Welcome to the final battle of the autumnal tournament, Challenger. It is most impressive that a neophyte such as yourself has come this far. My name is Scylla, the autumnal tournament's reigning champion, and I shall be your opponent. If you wish to yield now, there is no shame in acknowledging your limits. Very well. Then until one of us can no longer raise our blades, we are to fight for the title of victor. They seem to be holding their own, but I can see that they are tiring. Challenger, can you rise? Your strong will is admirable, but can you still fight? Yes, I have sheathed my weapon, as should you. You can barely stand. You have come this far, and you should be proud of that feat. A title in some bedded coin is not worth your well-being. I may be your opponent, but this is not a battle where one is fated to pass on. I am not beyond compassion either. Come, lean against me and we will relocate to treat your wounds. Here, rest upon the bed there while I collect what I need. Drink this. It is water, nothing more. Once you are ready, I will start to treat your wounds. While you may have been my opponent, you are also a fellow warrior one who required aid. I was not going to ignore that and claim a victory not properly earned. You misunderstand. I see little weakness in you. You have shown remarkable strength to have made it to the tournament's final round. Yet battle after battle, any warrior, whatever their experience, would begin to tire, including myself. If you will allow me, I would like to inspect your wounds to treat them accordingly. You look as though you have something to ask. Do not hold your tongue. Ask and I shall answer. Your question does not offend. I am a centaur. It is common for the residents of this continent to be... Uncertain. We are an ancient race, not like the winged elves of legend, but we are not far ahead of them in historic texts. There are other centaurs, but we are few. We roam Ithesis as nomadic tribes. As a noble race who are associated with fey creatures, we tend to keep to ourselves since this continent has established cities and villages. I am here because I wish to be. While many of my people have grown bitter towards the younger races due to the land we have lost, and we have slowly removed ourselves from the mines of Ithesis, I am here to remind this land that we continue to live amongst them. Some of us are willing to cohabitate if the world would allow. What about you, young warrior? 
What brings you here to compete in the autumnal tournament? I see. An admirable path. Becoming a knight is not so easily done. Tell me, what sparks your motivation? You wish to repay the kindness of a village that took you in. You are most impressive. I admire your resolve and determination. However, if you push yourself too far, you will not be able to repay the people of your village, yes? Fortune favors you, though. The... basic patchwork you performed upon yourself prior to our battle held well enough that you require only a minor touch of healing and rest. The spell will not hurt, though it may feel warm. That should do. I must go speak to the tournament officials. No. You will remain here to rest. I shall collect your winnings for you. I will return in a moment. Good. It seems they have heeded my words to rest. I suppose I'll leave their earnings here and allow them time to themselves. I sense the strength you wield, and your aura glows brighter than most. I will be curious to observe how far you will go, should fate allow the opportunity.